Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we'll be taking a look at our good old L3 Plus again. We'll try to find a more efficient setting and overclock for the little beast. The last time we looked at it we switched over to Bliss firmware and found a max power, max hash rate setting for me. Around 630 mega hash a second at 1050 watts was where we landed. More hash rate would probably have been possible, but it was enough for me, especially since the L3 Plus is the loudest and most power hungry machine here in the room anyway. I'll accept a bit lower hash rate if I manage to achieve a better hash to watt ratio and just generally a bit lower power consumption. So we start where we left off. The old setting was 478 MHz at voltage 9 and that gave me dimension 630 mega hash. Therefore I decided to start at the lower end of the data which we started to collect with the last video. What you see on screen is my data sheet I collected for this video. So you can follow my process. So 450M voltage 1 and then let it run to see if it's really stable and also I have to correct myself from last video's benchmarks rate ended up a bit lower than I had first noted it. So I decided to go in trial and error mode again and slowly try to give it a bit more voltage to see where I land and I have to say that I was happy pretty quickly. Here it will really depend on what you are looking for with your setup. Max hash rate, most efficiency and I've even seen many interesting low power setups. So again decide for a base frequency you like and then start fine tuning with the voltage setting. I just wanted to have power and noise down a little bit for summer and I'll tell you why I called this video the last update in a second. So this is a rather short episode like always, but this kind of testing does take its time because you have to check your hash rate from poolside. I personally like litecoinpool.org for that, but you'll need to leave it running for some hours, if not at least 24 hours, to see if the hash rate really arrives there. So never trust the Antminer dashboard with this. Even if your hash rate is unstable and fluctuating, the dashboard will still show it higher than it probably is. Still, the process was easy for me because thanks to last video's testing, I already knew what I wanted to go for. Also mind that unfortunately each L3 Plus is a bit different depending on your chips. So copy and paste won't really help you, but I hope following this process showed you the way to find your own personal setting depending on your needs. By the way, this might have been the last time we talk about the L3 Plus, at least in this location. I won't sell it and I won't spoil yet what will be happening with it, but it might have been the last update, here at least. That's already it. We found a more efficient and even more silent option for our L3 Plus without losing too much hash rate. Down in my room, every machine affects the whole room, so it was a good thing, especially since the other rig has to move down here as well soon. That's already it with probably the last L3 Plus update from this location. Many people are talking about the hardening right now, so I won't spend many words on it today, since I've mentioned it in most of my recent farm updates. Also, I've already mentioned that we did have some L5 leaks already, but they are not publicly available yet. My personal guess is that Bitmain will probably pump them out shortly before or after the halving, but that is just personal speculation. Thank you all for tuning in, please subscribe if you like this video or check the L3 Plus playlist for more videos we had on the monster. Next week we'll finally have the F1 mini costs and earnings update. I wish all the best to each and every one of you, happy mining and bye! Thank <laughs> you.